from the TV6 studio, this is Quad Cities Live. of the era is returning for one night only, bringing Bix music back to Bix weekend. Coming up, details on this free event in one of Davenport's most picturesque parks. We'll introduce you to Canine Kindness, a nonprofit helping rescue and adopt dogs with a commitment to providing appropriate veterinarian care and treatment. <laughs> so cute. The community of Alito, Illinois is gearing up for a big weekend featuring local businesses. Check out what the Business Bouquet event is all about. Welcome to Quad Cities Live on this Friday, July 22nd. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jake Eastburn alongside my co-host Morgan OTA. The Rock Island County Fair is underway now, celebrating its 150th anniversary. Yeah, Paula Sands joins us live from the fairgrounds in East Moline. Paula, there's lots of food and plenty to see. Oh, yes, and baby animals to pet, Morgan and Jake. This is actually to be exact, the 153rd annual fair. Can you believe that here in East Moline? It used to move around a lot, but it's been on these fairgrounds here in East Moline since the 50s. I'm in the baby animal barn, and these children have uh, their parents have purchased these little cups of food and the baby goats are gathering. We got baby goats, we got baby bunnies, we got ponies in this barn and this is a, this is a fun time. In fact, it's a, it's one of the most popular places at the fair, so says my new friend Lindsay Lindbergh. How are you, Lindsay? Good, how are you? Has it been a great fair week for you? It's been fantastic and great weather. Oh, yes, <laughs> right, right, because tomorrow it's going to be 100 degrees and so we, we avoided that. Okay, highlights. Tomorrow is the last day for the fair here on the East Moline Fairgrounds. So what's going on tonight, Lindsay? Well, tonight we have a monster truck show by two extreme monster trucks, and we're very excited to have them back. The monster trucks, they're, that's always a hot act, right? Yes, it is, and yeah. we've, they've been here twice before, and they've sold out the grandstands both times. So if you love rides, if your kids love rides, uh, the wrist, famous wristband day is it's tomorrow, right? Yes, the time? Yes, tomorrow, 12 to 4 for $25. $25, bucks, you can ride every ride you ever dreamed of from yeah from noon to noon to four right 12 yeah. to four yeah okay 12 to four so that's tomorrow and then tomorrow night um we've got viola boys in the grandstand and uh demo derby yes the fan favorite demo derby by the viola boys so we're very excited to have them back too like we do every year that's, that's cool. great to work with yeah you know a fair like this Lindsay was just telling me she's from san diego and here she's bringing us this fair from uh from beautiful and she says she loves she's living here because you have a little she's one in fact you you told me you said let's go into the baby animal barn because it's your daughter's favorite yeah she loves it she's been coming in here petting the baby goats and everything she it's her favorite let's see the baby goats again so the, uh, the other thing i want to ask you about here Lindsay, um the history of this fair this many years i mean that's it's legendary here what did you know about it before you came you know, I didn't know much about it until I started working here, um, but it's a very deep history and there's actually a lot of families here who continue to show that I've been, I mean, showing for generations. So it's, it's a very, very family friendly event and um, lots of culture in it. Yeah, there really is, isn't there? Yeah. So um, we also have some livestock shows going on in the morning, right, tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow um, we have a cattle show, which a lot of people love to see because everyone loves a cute cow, right? <laughs> yeah, a cute cow for sure, right? And the other thing is that um, if people want to get in yet tonight, because the rides go, they're going to be starting up at 5. The rides start to, uh, in the carnival because they're games too, right? Correct, yeah. yep. Uh, so that's going until, you know, 11-ish. However you go. You might be the last man standing at 11, but, you know, it might, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. It, it, might, it might still be going on. So uh, tonight and tomorrow, uh, the last hours of the great Rock Island County Fair in East Moline. And uh, so if you want to get tickets, just it's just easy at the gate. Is that the easiest way to do it, Lindsay? Yes. Tonight, um, you can pre-purchase them, though usually we have them at the gate. But for, t uh, for tonight, I really recommend pre-purchasing. Um, tomorrow, they'll only be available at the gate for the Demo Derby. Um, but again, for tonight, definitely pre-purchase. Yeah. Highly recommend. <laughs> yes, because um, I bet your grandstand will be packed. Yeah. Yes, they've sold it out twice before, and the demo derby, of course, is always you know a fan favorite. So yeah. we're expecting a lot of attendance. Good stuff. Well, the great Rock Island County Fair here in East Moline. It was 153rd year. Started way back in 1869, which even I don't remember. Uh, but it's a, it's a distant memory anyway. <laughs> and uh, so we invite you out here, uh, right off Avenue of the Cities, uh, in what we um, old East Moliners call Archer Drive. And we enjoyed the drive out here. Yeah. 
Th thank you, Lindsay. Of course, Spencer, thank you yes. for your time. Uh, I know you're loving the fair. And let's take a look at these kids again one more time. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna end with the kids feeding the baby goats. Don't forget the baby animal barn here at the Rock Island County Fair. For now, reporting live from East Moline, I'm Paula Sands. Back to you guys.